Hi, and welcome back to the wonderful world of the scientific hypothesis. My name is Brad Alger, and today we're going to look at the infamous if-then relationship. The if-then sometimes crops up in discussions of the hypothesis, and while they're intended to be helpful, they are inconsistent and can be pretty confusing. I'll try to untangle the terminology, and along the way, we'll sort out independent variables from dependent variables, and even better, we'll explain why they're not as critical to how you think about and formulate hypotheses as you might have been led to believe. I'd like to try to clarify this situation by considering two questions relating if-then and the hypothesis. The first one is, is the if-then relationship equivalent to a hypothesis? And the second one is, do you formulate a hypothesis by relating an independent variable to a dependent variable with an if-then statement? Well, let's look at what an if-then statement is. Basically, if-then is a way of stating a conditional relationship between two ideas. If A, then B means that if the condition A is true, then the condition B must be true. Here's a concrete example. If I eat enough food, then I will not be hungry. Condition A is I eat enough food, and condition B is then I won't be hungry. To put this in the context of a hypothesis, we might say this. If the hypothesis is true, then the prediction it makes must be true. And this is fine. This is what we've been saying all along. So here's our example. If acid rain is killing the fish, then the lake water must be acidic. Here, the if-then statement relates a hypothesis to a prediction. And this is fine as far as it goes, but notice that the if-then statement itself is not a hypothesis, which is contrary to what you'll sometimes hear. Now, in the other formulation, we have if independent variable, then dependent variable. It states the relationship between these two variables. We might say, for example, if the water is too acidic, then the fish gets sick. Acidity of the water is the independent variable, and the health of the fish is the dependent variable. And in general, an independent variable is the thing that you measure or control and put on the x-axis of the graph, and the dependent variable is the thing that depends on the independent variable, and it goes on the y-axis. In our example, the health of the fish is the dependent variable on the y-axis, and the independent variable is the pH of the water on the x-axis. And you can see that indeed, as the pH varies from neutral, seven, down to acidic, which is one, the health of the fish declines until at some point they die. This relationship then is valid, but it doesn't explain anything. And you can test it directly. So what we see is that this if-then statement expresses a prediction about what will happen in some condition. Once again, it is not a hypothesis which contradicts what we hear about sometimes. So a quick review about what we've said. Is the if-then relationship equivalent to a hypothesis? Well, as we saw, no, the answer is no. Do you formulate a hypothesis by relating an independent variable to a dependent variable with an if-then statement? And once again, the answer is no. Does an if-then statement incorporate a hypothesis? Well, as we saw, it may. And finally, does an if-then statement express a prediction? Again, we saw that it may do this too. So the conclusions are, then an if-then statement may express valid logical connections between ideas, but it's ambiguous. The if-then statement is simply a conditional relationship. It is not specifically related to a hypothesis. I hope this little video has helped clarify any questions you might have had on this issue. It's an important one, but it's not something that we'll have to come back to and deal with a lot in the future. Thanks for watching. Remember to give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to hear more. See you next time.